Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ailey if you're new. Today's video is going to be a haul of all of the stuff that I bought on holiday and there's kind of a lot. <laughs> I have not filmed in over a week like at all. I filmed on holiday um, but I obviously didn't film any beauty content apart from like little bits here and there. Um, I haven't actually sat down to film a video in probably about three to four weeks. So there hasn't really been very many videos on my YouTube channel. To be honest, I just didn't really have time. The holiday kind of sprung up on us. Um, if you want to watch my holiday vlogs, then I'll link them somewhere for you. They'll probably be in the description box. But uh, we had a bit of a mare where we booked with Thomas Cook and Thomas Cook went bust. So we had to sort of like scramble and get a new holiday together. Um, and then we came home from holiday and after almost a week at home the following Sunday my dog actually fell really ill. You've maybe seen her in a couple of videos way back when she actually used to still be able to come upstairs. She was a Newfoundland, she was 11 years old, she would have been 12 in December but she fell ill last year and basically has just been sort of on borrowed time ever since. We thought we were getting sort of a handle on what it was she had. She had hypothyroidism which then caused pancreatitis. The hypothyroidism itself isn't really that dangerous but the pancreatitis is. It can come back and it can come back with a vengeance and it did. So it came back and made her really ill really quickly this past Sunday which was the 13th of October um, and she actually went up to the vet and made an almost miraculous recovery and was actually feeling better. She got sort of like anti-sickness and a painkiller because pancreatitis can give you like a really sore stomach. It is your pancreas that is inflamed which is like right in about your stomach there and it can give them a really sore tummy. So she had that and she had a really bad night so we actually had to take her back into the vets the next day and she was in sort of 24 hour to be you know, on a drip to make sure that she was getting the nutrients and that that she needed so that her body could actually heal. Um, unfortunately, we didn't end up taking her home. She ended up passing away early hours of the Tuesday morning, which was Tuesday the 15th. So as you can imagine, it wasn't really a good time for me at all. The two days a week that I have to film are a Sunday and a Monday. And as you can imagine, those two days were not two days that I wanted to do anything. Are a week later and I, I knew that this video would be up first and it's going to be the first beauty, beauty video that you've seen from me in a, in a while and I kind of needed to explain what was going on. So as you can imagine the past week has literally been hell for me. So yeah, uh, what can you do? I suppose it's kind of one of those things where I had a wonderful 11 years with her and and let's just say that the place is feeling very very empty. The reason that I wanted to explain as well was obviously if I like don't mention her, if uh, I don't seem as upbeat as I normally would then that is why it's going to take me a while to sort of be back to my normal self. I am trying as much as possible but as you can imagine it's a pretty shitty situation. So yeah I figured a wee bit playing with makeup today and I really needed to get this haul done so that I can get rid of this on my desk. Do you know what? I'm going to take a little clip of it on my phone so that you can see what I'm dealing with here. Yeah, so this is kind of, I mean it's all kind of out in a mess and stuff like that because I've just used it but yeah, it's a, getting a little bit out of hand. And so, I got the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream in it. I love this stuff. I have a pot. Look at my little pumpkin. Oh, there it is. Look. So cute. <laughs> um, but it's pretty much empty. I the only reason it's lasted this long is because I I've been trying to make it last this long. But I absolutely love this stuff. So I got myself another pot. I couldn't resist. I was gonna get a big pot, but then I saw this. This is the Coco Cabana cream. It's from the same people, I think, Sol de Janeiro. This stuff smells like Oh my god, I don't... It smells amazing. It's like my most favourite smell in the world now. I used to love the smell of this. This smells ten times better. So I got one of each of those. 
Um, the next thing I got, which isn't sort of makeup, is this. This is my new perfume. When we went on holiday, I really wanted to get a scent memory. Last time we went, my other half actually had a an aftershave, I don't think he bought it out there, but he had an aftershave that he wore all the time on holiday and every time I smell that aftershave, I, it takes me back to being on holiday. So I wanted the same. I don't even have the box for it, but it's absolute fuchsia and I think the fragrance is diamond. This stuff smells amazing. I can't even, I can't even describe it to you. It, it smells a little bit like bum bum cream. That's the only thing that I can associate it with. She sprayed it on my arm and I went away and I was smelling it as I was walking about and I was like, oh my God, that smells amazing. That kept on saying it. So I was like, I have to go back and get this. Like it's just, it's definitely like my kind of scent. I've never heard of it before. I'd never seen it before. I'd never smelt it before. So I really like the fact that it's like a brand new scent to me. So that is the second thing that I got. The next thing I got was the Fenty Beauty Foundation. It is the Pro Filter Foundation. It's the one that is for uh, hydrating. It's the long wear hydrating formula and I have it on today. I have a video coming up that is sort of like my review of it. Spoiler alert, I love it. But so far anyway. But I, I knew I had to get my hands on this because I was really gutted that the one that she brought out originally wasn't going to suit my skin type because it was just going to be too drying and too matte. So I got had to get my hands on this. These, before I go any further, these are a mixture of Sephora, CVS, Ulta and Walgreens, I think. Basically just everywhere I go to when we go on holiday. <laughs> I just needed, oh, oh and Morphe as well. I went to the actual Morphe store, which was so cool, but it was empty, which was kind of annoying. Okay, so next, just because it's in my way, I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. This is the volume three. I have it on my eyes right now. Uh, there will be a tutorial slash review coming up on that soon. But this is the Norvina volume three and I actually have the Norvina volume two as well because they came out on the same day. How inconsiderate of ABH and Norvina because like you know seriously like we have the money to be spending it on this but I was on holiday I had saved for a really long time and my boyfriend generously picked this one up and said that he would get this one for me we were on holiday like sort of around about the time of my birthday so maybe he was feeling super generous but I got both of these I haven't played with volume two yet I have just finished playing with volume three which I'm really happy about because I really like it uh, in the Morphe store I picked up this. This is the 3502, 3502? No it's not, it's the 3503. I'll put a picture of it up here. This is not for me. This is for my 2000 subscriber giveaway. So this isn't just this. There's going to be more stuff. But if you want to win this and some more goodies, there's some Jeffree Star stuff, there is some tatty lashes, there's some... Uh, I can't even think what else there is. Anyway, you'll just have to wait for the uh, giveaway video to see what there is, but this is going to be going in the giveaway. Obviously, you'll have to be subscribed, so why not just get it out of the way now and subscribe? I think it was Ulta. I discovered they sell Colourpop. I was gutted because most of it was sold out, but I managed to pick up three eyeliners. So I love the fact that they do colourful eyeliners and I got the yellow one which is Make Love, the blue one which is Crazy and the white one which is Graceland because my white liner is like totally jacked up. Totally finished. We're like swinging back and forth here. I went into the Morphe store and I picked up a duplicate of my JH42 and my JH41 just because I really really like these brushes and I picked up a M456 because it's like a teeny wee blending brush. I really like it. I might actually get another one. I like the fact that you can see the brushes. I don't like ordering the brushes from Morphe online because I find that they look a certain way online and then when you get them, they look different. Like I have been looking for a brush like this, for example, for ages and I keep getting brushes like this. They're too thick, they're too like, I don't know if you can see that. Like look at the difference between these two brushes how thin one is and how thick the other one is. I don't know if you could see that. But anyway, I picked up two of these. These are the M160-116. So that is that one and that one. And I picked up a Suva Beauty 
liner brush. It, they are, it's just it's the teeniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I got this literally for doing really detailed work. If I'm doing like any Halloween looks or I might end up taking it to my nail salon really. It's just so teeny and dainty and I think it'll be a really, really good brush. I'm putting the lid on that. And I got this little brush, it's an M705 and it was more just for like precision stuff. So like if I was face painting, I could get like a really precise line with it. It kind of interested me. So it's an M705. So that is... I think all the brushes that I got, I, I've, I've used them since, so I, or I've used some of them since, so I don't know if that's all of them. But these, I've used it already on my brows, and oh my god, if you want brow strokes, get the M160. That is the best little eyebrow brush I've ever come across. Okay, sticking with Morphe, because we might as well have some sort of order. I got a couple of lip liners, I got Chippy and Frenchy. So they're just two really nice nudes. So that one's Frenchy, that one's Chippy. And I got an eyeliner in like a white liner in coconut. Then I was at like one of the other drugstores and I ended up getting a NYX white jumbo pencil. Or it's in milk, I think. Yep. And I got a NYX uh, two NYX eyeliners, one in brown and one in black. They they aren't my favourite, I have to say. Like they're I don't know if they need to soften up or what, but they're just a little bit hard for me, so I'm reserving judgement on these for now. I had to get another butter bronzer. I think this is a slightly lighter one actually, yeah, light bronzer. Um, just for like the winter time when I'm a wee bit more pale and oh my god, these smell amazing. And I needed to try the blusher as well, so I got Plum Rose and it's just because it was the only one that was there. So I got those two. While I was in that shop, I think it was... I think it was Walgreens actually. I had to try the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundations. These are, these basically, I love the liquid foundation of these so I had to try them. So I got Soft Beige and Classic Ivory because I couldn't remember what shade I was. Uh, back to Morphe again, I got two liquid lipsticks, one in Schoolgirl, one in Taunt. So there's Taunt and there's Schoolgirl. Nudes because, you know, I'm that boring. When I was in Sephora, I picked up a Gimme Brow. It was a double one, so it's a full size and a mini for the same size as a full size, for the same size, for the same price as a full size. So I just ended up getting that. This was in 4.5, it was the only one they had. I'm a shade five anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but this is my favorite brow gel of all time. I have really thin brows, and most brow gels have really thick ones, so I'm really happy to get that. A, what else did I get? In Sephora I also got, and this is thank you to you. <laughs> this is a massive thank you to Jen from Beauty Riot X. Yes, you're making me spend money. This is from Milk Cosmetics and you can see why I bought it. I mean, look at those shades. I just, I've already used it. I was using it on holiday. I absolutely adore it and yeah, it's probably gonna be my most used used neutral palette so thanks for that Jen. I didn't realise it was so flippin expensive but it's totally worth the money and I do love it. From Morphe I got, I'm all over the place, I don't, I'm you know not trying to go store by store or anything like that but I got the highlighter, high impact highlighter from Morphe in the shade Extra. I have it on my face right now and I got the Kush Mascara to try. I actually have it on just now underneath these lashes and I really like it. It's a bit, I was wondering why it was so heavy. It's like a metal case, a bit weird, but yeah. I totally caved and bought Estela Magnificent Metals eyeshadow. Is it Magnificent Metals? I think so. In the shade Kitten and when I swatched it in the shop, there wasn't many of these to be fair, but I swatched it in the shop and I was like, I have to try it, just have to try it. I had to get this. I had to and oh my god. It smells amazing. I'm so glad I got it. I, I need like 20 more of these. This is the Morphe and Jeffree Star Starberry Scent Scent and Refresh Mist from Morphe. It's strawberry scented but it's absolutely amazing. A little, little what else did I get? I got the Hourglass Ambient Light Bronzer in the shade... 
nude bronze light and I have it on my face just now and it's gorgeous I have the little mini one of just like the face powder what's it called dim light and I love it so I knew I wanted to get this bad boy I have the Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade pure Hollywood which I'm wearing just now I just really like the shade and I'd seen it talked about so many times that I thought I want to try that Too Faced Hangover X Primer because I love this primer I just find that it's really hydrating really nice underneath my makeup I have it on today this was another find from Colourpop they didn't have much of these either this is the super super huh. this is the super shock cheek pearlized highlighter in Flexitarian and this stuff is no yoke absolutely stunning I don't even know if you can see that but it's gorgeous I just hope that because it, even because it's in this wee container that it won't dry out like my last shadow did I got a new sponge you wouldn't be able to tell because I took it out of the wrapper but new sponge in Morphe as well I got this liner from Suva Beauty I wanted to get more of them but this was literally this one and a purple one was the only one that was in stock so I just thought I would get this one to try thought that it might come in handy I don't know I was I was going a bit daft I'd, I'd saved up for a while and you know, I can't control myself in Morphe I didn't realize that they sold House of Lashes lashes I was gonna pick up the Morphe ones to try but I thought oh well, let's just pick up House of Lashes while we're here so I got the iconic minis and two pairs of the iconic lights I'm wearing one just now quite like them yeah I do really like them so quite happy with that let's see what else do we have oh I went into Bath and Body Works if you want to know what candles I got let me know and I will like write them down somewhere for you but these things are awesome like I might actually use it to get the crap off my hands champagne toast so little mini like and they do um like five for five pound or something like that but it's like little mini hand sanitizers they're amazing and they also do foam ones this is like it's like a foam but it's a hand sanitizer oh that one's called pumpkin everything and oh my god pumpkin is my new favorite thing ever by the way bath and body works please come at the uk you're like the best Ever. I actually got three candles which I managed to get home. I'll put on the screen what the scents are, yeah, what the scents, I was going to say what the flavours are, but what the scents are, but they are amazing. One of them is the cinnamon and it just makes the whole house smell like cinnamon. Like, I have one lit in my living room right now and I'm upstairs and I can smell it. It's just, they're better than Yankee, better than, pff, yeah. <laughs> Please come to the UK. Uh, so, right, okay, this was what I was going to tell you guys. When I was in Sephora it was obviously not long past my birthday so I got my birthday perk that was these so this is the Bessie number no. nine jelly cleanser from Drunk Elephant I've tried the sachet that I got because I got like a couple of samples from I can't remember where it was but I got a couple of samples I used that it's a cleanser didn't really notice all that much to be honest I don't think I would pay all the money it costs for it and I got the Proteiny peptide cream. This is my new moisturizer. I literally like the origins one I haven't touched since this is amazing this I might do like an updated skin routine Once my skin settles down because as you can imagine I've been stressed. I've been really upset recently I've been crying a lot. I have my skin's kind of been through it. It's been breaking out and stuff like that. So this, I mean, it, it, even with the way I've been feeling and like what's been happening this week, this has, it's, my skin's still been pretty decent, like it's not been really bad and it was really bad before I went on holiday, so this is my new favourite thing on the planet. It is 15ml, so it was a really, really good thing, like, you know, these two and my little birthday thing for free from Sephora. I love that. Please let us shop Sephora again, like we're leaving the EU, let us back on the website. <laughs> um but yeah I absolutely love this and I had because we can't shop Sephora in the UK I actually had like points or whatever they are saved up so I managed to get the Lala Retro Whipped Cream Footy Footy I have no idea what that is but anyway it's a facial moisturizer and it's just the Lala Retro one and I managed to get one two three four Five. I actually 
I did have six. I don't know where the sixth one's gone, but I have six of these and they're five mils each. So I have pretty much a full tub or like a half of a full tub. That's not bad. Right now I'm using it as an eye cream. I'm using this on my face and I'm using this around my eyes. This is gonna last me forever. And this I'm gonna buy the full size of. I'm that convinced, it's like 60 quid, but I, I'm that convinced by it. The other thing I got was this little Smashbox um, sample lipstick. Just a really nice sort of brownie shade. Just as like my point perks or whatever it was, so yeah. Quite happy with that. Um, I don't think I mentioned this. In Hmm, I can't actually remember where, but in one of the shops my boyfriend actually picked out this and he was like, oh, is this not something that would maybe work because I was like so hot in the Florida weather. So this is the workout makeup from Clinique Fit and it's got a broad spectrum SPF 40. So it was great for a holiday if I wanted to actually wear something. It's really, it's really liquidy. And I got mine in 03 light medium. It's probably too dark for me just now, to be brutally honest. Yeah, probably. Um, it's really, really liquidy, really lightweight. But do you know something? Apart from around about where my sunglasses were, this held up really well. Like, really well. I don't know if you could work out in it. To be honest, I would never work out with my makeup on, or like foundation or that on. I just I just don't think it's a good idea. But if, you know, you had to, or if, it, it, you know, you're doing other stuff, like going out in a hot weather, I think that this would be amazing because it's really, really lightweight and it's got that SPF 40. So an everyday foundation, if you're in the sun, this would probably be really good for you. For working out, I wouldn't probably recommend it, but that was what I got anyway. So the last couple of things that I got, what were the Ulla Henriksen Glow Cycle Retin Alt Power Serum? It's it's basically the serum from their Transform range, and I've been wanting this for ages. And I've just I decided to buy the bullet. It was the same price out there as it was at home. I thought that they might have had like little packs with like a little sort of sampler thing, but because I ended up using this anyway, it's pointless. So this. It's about 50 quid or something like that. I, this and this is like my new power couple. This is my skincare, <laughs> pretty much. I love these two together, but I, I just, I've been wanting this for ages and I'm so glad that I got it. So loving this so far. And I had to pick this up. It wasn't intending to, but it was, you know, that stupid little Isle of Death that Sephora have got that you basically have to go through because I tried to avoid it. Like, you have to go through it to get to the tilts. And I was, like, going round because there was no queue. I was tracking around it. My other half's like, maybe you want to go through this way. This is the, oh, 28 gram thing and it was $25 so I thought do you know what let's try it everybody raves about it and it, it's actually kept my skin really nice and hydrated but it's a summer Friday's jet lag mask that everybody talks about yes it is good is it a miracle cream I don't know but I have stopped using my halo beauty to see how I got on and this has been keeping my face really hydrated since the rest of my body's a little bit dry not gonna lie probably all the sunshine as well that stuff's helping Coco Cabana cream and the Bum Bum cream is helping. But this is helping my face. I do have, I go a little bit mad when I go on holiday. And it is normally my birthday and I get stuff. But I do have some Michael Kors stuff. Which I'm going to put in a different video. So if you want to see like my Michael Kors collection, which is rapidly getting too big. <laughs> then either subscribe or stay tuned for like a vid an upcoming video that I'll have my full collection of Michael Kors stuff that I would love to share with you guys. Um, but yeah, no, for now I think that that is it. Like kind of beauty wise and makeup wise, that is pretty much what I got. Now I need to find places for everything. I need to pack it all the way to tidy up this space so that when I come back tomorrow to film some more stuff, I'll have a clean slate. But yeah, that is pretty much it, I think. If I've forgotten anything, I'm sure you'll see it in a future video anyway, but that is like the bulk of it. I go a little bit daft when I go on holiday because I don't get a chance to buy makeup all the time for myself. I'm buying it for work, but I'm never buying it for myself. So yeah, apart from the Shane palette, I think I'm going to be making room for that as well. But yeah, yeah, 
Anyway, if you've tried any of these things and you think that there's something that I should dive into first, let me know. But uh, as I say, I'll be either reviewing some stuff like the Wet n Wild stuff, um, the Norvina palettes and stuff like that. Anyway, so if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe. But yeah, I am going to go and tidy this up and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you soon.